matter today with the uh, Springfield Armory Prodigy. Some of you might have seen the previous video where it was failing to extract. Um, Springfield Armory uh, tuned the extractor, changed the spring, did a couple other things. I'll go more over that uh, back at the house when I do the thousand round review on this gun. Um, definitely want to make sure I put a couple hundred in it since getting it back. We'll see how, if she even runs for that matter. Um, I ended up actually putting an Armor HD on here. Um, it was zeroed on the previous gun. We'll see how zero it is on here. But let's just see if this gun even runs. We're at around 10 yards or so. Uh, and we're going to go for that top uh, uh, slotted burst target there. Okay. I think they put a 19 pound uh, wolf spring uh, in here. Uh, I'm going to take it slow here. I got another 20 rounder in my pocket. Maybe I'll let him rip if we can get through this first mag here. Uh, but let's just at least put a couple of targets and, you know, see how accurate this uh, on point this zero is, which wasn't zeroed on this gun, but another gun. Hmm. Okay. I haven't shot this in a little while. Let's see here. Shooting low. First three are all low. Kind of aiming for the middle there. I do pull down. Looks like the dot might have to be raised. Unless I'm in pulling, just pulling a lot today. mind this guy's throat that's from earlier yeah three and then maybe I pulled I was like four maybe I pulled one off the uh, splatter there <clears throat> dot might need to be raised let me give it another go let me put my hold up a little higher see if I can get him in the middle uh, but the gun is running so let's see I'll put my hold up a little higher here on the target I'm not gonna aim for the middle move to the top of the head Why today I feel like pulling the goddamn gun though. But maybe a little bit a little bit lower. Seventeen rounds. She ran them all. It looks like Springfield fixed it. I never would have even sniffed those first couple of rounds, let alone seventeen, with the way she was running before. Some I means can look up that short video if you want to see it. It's on my YouTube channel. But it looks like they fixed it. She's running good. I think the zero. Uh, I was aiming here earlier, and I was kind of shooting down here, and then I I started. I raised the hold here, and it was kind of shooting. Where I kind of needed it to. I kind of played around with it a little bit between this point and this point. You know, I pulled some off to the side, but uh, zero's not super far off. It is a bit, uh, a little off though. I just need to zero it on to this firearm. But good news is the Springfield Armory Prodigy looks like it's repaired. I got a 20, another 21 mag. I'll just run through it so you guys can see it. And then um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this video, and uh, I'm gonna tweak this red dot here um, I, I'm at least hitting the target so uh, we'll just run them I'm gonna just kind of keep my hold up let's take out the 17 rounder I am running 115 grain uh, Fiocchi uh, just regular FMNJ FMJ excuse me um, but yeah let's just let's run these make sure she keeps running at least I'll know it's fixed I still ain't got a thousand round review at I still need to put a couple hundred rounds through it um, I might even do some extra, I gotta check my exact uh, round total count, um, just cause I wanna make sure that they did fix this. Um, 
And like I said, when I get back at the house, I'll go over, I have the paperwork, you know, go over what uh, Springfield did to uh, adjust the problem. And Target's a little messy, but let's just run them. Okay. Okay, a decent pace for me. It looks like she's fixed. See that RMR stays on there. I've had trouble in the past, but not since I switched to an RMR plate with this Prodigy. Uh, that HD does look pretty good on there though. There's 20, here's a 17er. Let's uh, do this one real quick, just to, guys, just to show you guys real quick. Um, you know, you don't need a, any kind of loader. I do have a um, <clears throat> a Eula loader, uh, but you don't uh, need it for something like this. There are guns that obviously the magazines are super tight. You know, this ain't one of them though. So, showing you here real quick. And then I'm gonna drop another three mags down range there. Um, you know, since I received it back from Springfield, just want to make sure she's still running. I'll take these two mags with me. Just gonna kind of just kind of shoot them off here. Not so much worried about accuracy as reliability. It is really hot out here today. It's about 90 degrees. Uh, so my hands are really sweaty. The gun's already pretty hot. Definitely shooting low and left, but that's just me. I'm not trying to be super accurate. Just trying to test reliability. I'm gonna keep running here. I want to get to that thousand round review. Give you guys my my feedback. Drop that one down in the dirt.
freak any of that off. Yeah. I'm actually gonna go thumbs off here. There's a three round group, 10 yards, gun's like really hot. You see I dropped to a little low. They're all within the middle, generally, not the middle. I'm back here at the house. I wanna wrap up the 1,000 round review on the Springfield Armory Prodigy. I unfortunately had some issues, but real quick, um, for the most part, I have put nothing through. Oh, uh, here, let's go through here. Nothing here. She's empty for those who care. Uh, mostly 115 grain, Magtech, Federal, Fiocchi. Um, I had some hollow points, some defense rounds, uh, like Winchester, Silver Tips, and another one that escapes me. Uh, a little bit of 124. Um, I think I might have 124 Federal, and I think I put through a little bit of uh, 147 Alms Core. Uh, not much, maybe like 10 rounds, not a lot. But uh, L brass, never used any aluminum or steel, anything like that. Um, had one user-induced malfunction early on, which brings me to the failure point. Um, I have a short video on it where the extractor gave out. It was almost every round, every other round. The round was still pretty much 70 80%. Uh, still in the chamber while it was trying to load around, um, doing, I, I always did basic maintenance to it. The extractor just gave out. She wouldn't extract, uh, no matter what I did. So I had to send her in to Springfield, uh, under warranty, of course. And within less than a month, they got her back to me. Now the failure point happened at a rate around 700 rounds. It just, I don't want to gloss over that. So she had one user induced malfunction Right around 700 rounds, the she started the fill to extract. But anyways, Springfield Armory got it back to me, I think around three weeks or so, less than a month. Um, they put a 19-pound wolf spring in, they tuned the extractor, and a couple of other little things. Uh, probably just polished some stuff like the feed ramp. I don't have the paper. I seem to have misplaced it. But uh, the main two things was tuning the extractor and putting in a 19-pound wolf spring. And I can report over the last 300-ish rounds since I've received the firearm back to me, no failures, no issues at all. They have definitely fixed the problem. So I don't have any complaints there. And they repaired it within a reasonable amount of time and got her back to me. So she is in working order. So over to 1,000 rounds, um, one malfunction early on, user-induced, and then uh, the extractor went out on her around 700, almost 700 rounds, okay? Another, we'll say, negative experience that I've had, I've had two different plates on this firearm since I received it, and uh, I have the RMR on here now. Now, some of the footage, you're, you might see the Swamp Fox, depending on what footage I go with. I'm shooting this video last year, but I haven't put the video together. But um, I had a Swamp Fox, like an old Liberty uh, on here and then um when i got it back from springfield because i sent it with the octagon uh it was loose and i just assumed it was from all the work that they did to it um so i i took the opportunity to put my rmr hd on here and she seemed like she stayed on pretty good but then as i was shooting i noticed that i had some i'm not a great shooter okay uh um by any means i you know i shoot terrible a lot of times too but um, I had some wildly inaccurate shots, and unfortunately, after three, a little over 300 rounds, uh, this plate, unfortunately, has worked itself loose. So, um, I did clean the threads. I torqued to spec blue Loctite. I haven't used red Loctite. I know some people have mentioned that with this specific uh, plate setup, but I don't really want to have to resort to that. So, um Unfortunately, I'm not a fan of the agency arms plate. Um, so I am considering on switching out to an impact machine. I don't have one, 
but they make an RMR plate from uh, for the Prodigy, and I am a fan of Impact Machines, and I might give it a go, see if I have a little bit of luck, uh, a little bit better luck with it. Um, and the price ain't too bad either. I don't know. so, but I just wanted to point that out that unfortunately, I don't know if you can really see this, but. You can see, but uh, the, the the plate has uh, worked itself uh, a little bit of loose after a little over 300 rounds. So uh, that's um, a bit of a negative for me. I'm not a fan of the uh, agency arm plate. I know a lot of people have had no issues. So I don't know what I could be doing wrong, but uh, if I am doing something wrong, I ain't figured it out yet. Um, other than following the instructions on how to set it up. I mean, outside of maybe resorting to using red Loctite, which I haven't done. So... Anyways, uh, a lot of this other stuff, you know, the basics I've went over in the first impression video, you know, that this gun has a, has a very nice trigger. It has cleaned up a lot over the, uh, thousand rounds, you know, so you have like, that's, that's your take up right there. Okay. I'm just going to go over it real quick. I don't want to waste a lot of time, you know, and then there, there's no creep. Okay. And then right there. That's your reset, and it'll it'll kick your finger out. Okay, and like I said, no creep, real clean break. <clears throat> I like the grip texture. Uh, this is very nice. Uh, no issues at all uh, with it slipping. You got plenty of uh, uh, aggressive texture, but not too aggressive for those that might be more sensitive to that type of thing. Um, she also does. If anyone's wondering. Not, it's not great setup, but you do get a co-witness with a RMR HD. Um, so you could probably co-witness with pretty much any optic, I would imagine. Uh, but don't quote me on that. So that's nice. Um, the finish, uh, I think it's been about, ooh, I want to say eight to nine months. Seems to be holding up on the gun very well. Uh and uh doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be bad. Seems like it uh they have it they use a pretty decent finish on it, okay? Uh as far as uh where to go from here, um I'm not gonna lie because it's only been three hundred rounds since I've uh had it repaired. I'm probably gonna give you guys either a fifteen or a two thousand round update. It won't be anything crazy. It probably won't even have any range footage in it. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But maybe just to update she's in the future to see how she's holding up. As far as since getting repaired, I've only put a little over 300 rounds. Now, I do at some point want to upgrade the internals. Around 15, 2,000 rounds uh, after I update. But this gun was ran completely stocked the entire time with agency arms plate that it comes with. You know, trigger, you know, everything. There's, I didn't change anything out whatsoever. 100% stock Prodigy shoots real good, real nice. Feels good in the hands. I like the safeties. They're just, they're not huge, but they're, they're big enough to where you don't have any issue um, activating them. Okay. I've never had an issue too. For some people that can, that might not like this, never had an issue where she didn't go bang because of this, uh, you know, safety right here in the back. Okay. Uh, in the end, would I recommend this firearm despite the failures? Uh, yes, of course. I think I think for the money you're getting a a solid gun um, that may have some issues, but that obviously that's always person to person. I was one of the people who had an issue. It wasn't the normal ones when they first came out, but it was an extractor problem which failed on me which they fixed and they got back to me no cost of course under warranty uh, but the gun has a lot of potential especially if you start upgrading a lot of the internals and a lot of people have said that it feels on par at the very least with their staccatos and i can't tell you one way or another um no doubt a staccato would be better out of the box um than this prodigy would be but you're going to be paying um probably double so you know sometimes you get what you pay for but um that's neither here or there like i said you can upgrade this to definitely increase the performance and reliability um which is something i plan to do in the future so 
I do recommend the firearm. I think it's a very good firearm. It shoots good. So if you're looking for a double stack 1911, 2011, I think the Springfield Armory Prodigy should be on your list. You know, something worth looking at at any rate, especially for the price. But there are some other good options out there, but this is one that you should consider. So I will wrap up the review there. Um, if anyone has any questions that maybe I did not go over uh, during this process, yeah, just, just just put them down in the comment section. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't have a ton of followers, so it's not too hard for me to get back to you and if you have a question. So again, thousand rounds, one malfunction, user induced early on. Extractor failed around almost seven hundred rounds been fixed no failure since i'll update in the future around 15 or 2000 it'll probably be a while but this is my final review um full review on the springfield armory prodigy so like i said any questions put them down in the comment section i'll get to them again so uh thanks for watching and have a good day